What up, guys? This is your boy, DZD, a.k.a. The Drink Kank, Purple World Entertainment, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios once again. Thank you guys for checking out the channel. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. I really appreciate all the support on the channel. Thank you so much. Today, I got a really hot video for you guys. I know a lot of you guys watch those FL users out there and you see them using the Gross Beat plugin. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to get that exact plugin inside of the MPC software. No, it's not a knockoff plugin. No, it's not a plugin that was designed to do what Gross Beat does. No, it's the original image line FL Studio Gross Beat VST that you can get inside of your software. And it can give your beats, especially those trap beats, that same exact feel that you hear in most music production. I know there are a lot of guys out there that have condemned the Gross Beat plugin. Man, I ain't using a Gross Beat. Gross Beat, ooh. Man, that's played out, man. Everybody use that. I'm sure you heard it before. This is for you guys that want to find out how to get that VST in your NPC software and get that same type feel that you hear out there in those trap beats. But before we get into the video, guys, make sure you smash that subscribe button and also smash that bell icon. That way you guys can get notified every single time I post a video. So without saying too much, let's jump inside the NPC software. I'm gonna take you through this beat that I made and show you how I did it with the Gross Beat plugin. Let's do it. All right, guys, we are live inside the NPC software once again, and I'm gonna take you through this little beat that I made, and then I'm gonna show you what I did to it, all of the good stuff with it, and then I'm gonna show you how um, how I applied the Gross Beat effect on this uh, this particular track. So. This is uh, the track here. I'm going to let you listen to the whole thing real quick. That way you can get an idea of how the track sounds. This is the whole entire track. Really nice, hard hitting um, uh, melodic track. I like the way this came out. Um, so let me take you to track two real quick. And that's why I have the gross beat effect applied. And if you notice, there it is. Comes as a VST plugin. There it is right here. And that's the original gross beat from Image Line. It's not a knockoff. It's not something that you know somebody created like gross beat. It's the actual gross beat plugin from Image Line FL Studio. It is from there. And um, a lot of people don't know that you can get this plugin through a VST format. That way you can drop it into any system. You can use it in Ableton, you can use it in the MPC software, Logic, any 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 uh, DAW that you're using that takes VSTs, you can use it. So you don't exactly have to get FL Studio to have the the original Gross Beat plugin. Now I know there are a lot of plugins just like Gross Beat that kind of does the same exact thing and manipulates the, the beat to where you can have those nice um, trap beats that that are very popular, but um, um, if you want the original Gross Beat plugin, then there it is, and it works perfectly inside of the MPC software. And this is the site here. Let me pull up the site. This is the actual um, image line site where you purchase FL Studio, you know, and you can go to the plugins page, and it'll it'll show you where you can get the the uh, Gross Beat plugin, and you can download it. It's ninety nine bucks, and it tells you a little bit about it. Show you some videos on it on what it does. And it also, um, if you notice down here, it says VST plugin right here. Right here, it says VST plugin attention, no Mac VST version available. So as of now, unless you know anything has changed, the Mac version isn't available for this VST. Um, there are some ways that you can get um, VSTs to work inside a Mac that aren't, that aren't, uh, that aren't, capable of doing so there are ways that you can manipulate it to do that i don't know i don't know exactly how it's done uh but you know you guys can research research that if you want but you know as of now there's no original vst plugin for the mac for the mac version but there's windows 7 8 10 or later and it's really really light you know and you know i'm going to show you guys know what the the um what the uh, plugin is capable of doing because it's very popular you know it's a very popular plugin that's used in pretty much all of um trap beat music production, most of the trap beat music production. So there's a gross beat working. So I'm going to show you what it does just real quickly. Um, let's turn the plugin off and I'll solo the track and let you hear it. Let you hear it. This is just a nice little simple piano melody and I'll show you what the gross beat track did to it. Nice little simple piano, piano melody.
that's just the melody and then i applied uh one of the effects on it and just a little just to manipulate the sound a little bit so let's turn back on the plugin and let you hear what it did See, it instantly gives it that little fade, the little fade in and out, you know, it, it manipulates the uh, the sound a bit. And that's what the Grosby plugin does. As I said, I'm sure you guys have heard of it and have seen it, but it just kind of manipulates the sound a little bit just to give you a little flair to your beats, you know, give, give, a, it takes a simple sound and it gives it some effect that way it kind of look, it kind of feels like a nice, uh, a nice full sound. So, you know, that's what the plugin did for this particular track here. And it really came out nice. Just that simple effect on the track really came out nice. And then I dropped the EQ on it and EQ'd a bit of the, a bit of the lows out and all of that good stuff. And then in track two, in track three, I dropped some, uh, I dropped some more piano, some piano notes in there. And that has the gross beat plugin in as well. So I'm going to take it off. And this is what it sounds like without the gross beat. It's basically the same exact notes, just a lower octave of the first track, same exact notes. And then when you put the gross B on, of course, it gives it that nice, that nice, uh, nice affected feel. And inside of the gross B plugin, you know, you can, you can uh, download preset packs. If you notice down here, if you notice down here, there are presets that you can get for the gross B plugin. So I went, I went through the internet and I downloaded a bunch of the presets, some of the free presets. And I also bought two or three different preset packs from the internet money gang, because I know they make, uh, they make a lot of beats with gross beat on it and they do a good job at making the presets. That way you can get a bunch of these presets inside of here and you can click on them and see what you want. This particular one doesn't have that many. It just has these right here. But sometimes you can get preset packs where all of this is filled up and it's different effects you can click on and just see how it affects the beat, you know. And this is your time right here to where you can slow down the time if you want or you can speed it up. So you can go to the internet and look up different preset packs. There are a bunch of free ones, you know, and a bunch of paid ones as well. So, you know, now let's go to track four. And on track four, of course, I have the 808. That sounds like this. Really punchy 808. So with the uh, with those tracks playing, the uh, the two the two melody tracks and the 808 that sounds like this. And instantly you can tell it has that authentic you know, that authentic trap type, type feel with that gross beat on it, you know, because that's what it's designed to do. So once I got that rocking, I went on ahead and I dropped some drums on the track. And this is the drum pattern solo. Nice drum pattern. Um, I used that same trick that I showed in my live stream, the same trick with the hi-hat. I have my original hi-hat here, and then I copied it to this pad here. But I, I went into program edit and I pitched it down using the semitones. I pitched it down to negative eight. This would be original, same hi-hat, and then down eight. And that's what, and when you go back and you put the note repeat on, that's what gives you your pitch hi-hat rolls. Put it on 16 level, and make sure it's on tune then you put it you put the pad on on pad eight and then you have your hi-hat rolls pitch hi-hat rolls so i use that same trick that way i can have these two hi-hats the, the hi-hat pitched and rolled okay so i'm going to take it to the last track which is track five and this track is just a uh a nice um a nice melodic sound 
That way it kind of carried with the beat. So let's solo that and I'll let you hear what that sounds like. This is a sound that that uh, it kind of has a flute and a and a uh, a string mixed, and it gives it that nice dark feel. So when uh, when you put that on the beat, the entire beat sounds like this. Really had fun making this track, you know, but I just wanted to show you guys that yes, the Grows B plugin does work. Um, it's a nice plugin. If you guys aren't familiar with it, I'm more than sure you are. There's enough videos on it. You guys can go check them, check it out yourself. Type in Grows Beat on YouTube, kind of check out what it does if you're not familiar with it. But I just wanted to show you guys that the VST does work inside of the MPC software. There are no videos on Grows Beat and the MPC software. so. There you have it, it does work. So check it out for yourself, guys, if you don't if you don't have it. There you have it, guys. Another nice beat made. Again, I just wanted to show all you guys that the Gross Beat VST does work inside of the MPC software. As you saw on the website, there is no Mac version, but I've heard of ways that you can get VSTs to work inside of Mac that aren't exactly designed for Mac capability. So you guys may have to go check that out on your own. But again, the plugin does work on the MPC software, and I just wanted to make sure that there was a video out there that showed the MPC software using the Gross Beat plugin. I'm gonna leave a link in the video description. That way you guys can go check it out for yourselves if you wanna do that. If you're vibing with this particular beat that you heard, and you want some similar sounds to this particular beat, Make sure you guys check out my new sample pack, Ear Candy Melodies. It is now available on my website and it is now ready for you guys to download. You already know how I do. I bring the heat when it comes down to the melodies and I'm gonna make sure I have a nice array of sounds for you guys. I'll leave a card on the screen. That way you guys can check out the recent video that I made on the new sample pack. You can check out some of the sounds. You can check out what it does for your music production and hopefully you can grab that for yourself. You won't be disappointed. If you are not yet, make sure you follow my Instagram at The Drain King and also follow my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Dungeon Palace Studios. That's my time, guys. This is your boy DZD, aka The Drain King, Purple World Entertainment, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will check you guys in the next video. Peace out.